Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new today, episode 53 of the career mode. We are finishing out this season of the 360s. Hopefully, we can win the championship. We have an eight point deficit right now going into the last four races. We got Lima Land, I 84, which you did really well at last year, Weed Sport, and Williams Grove, which we were doing pretty good at Williams Grove last season until a caution came out at the very end. So, hopefully, we can do pretty well there again. But on to Lima Land. I'm going to bump up the laps to 18, I think. That'll work pretty well. But I really hope we can do really well here and beat Youngquist like every race to the end of the season so we can win this championship. All right, got the top 10 goal in practice. Don't know if we can get down to a 5-5-4 for qualifying or not. We'll do our best, but that mid-6 was basically the best I got. Hitting the wall is not going to help any. But just got to get to the bottom, hit the line right, get the exit grip, try not to hit the wall. Didn't have the greatest entry to turn three. I had a good lap going, I think, that I screwed up going into turn three. 761, not amazing, but not terrible still. It was like a tenth slower than practice, just about. This lap might be a little quicker, but I didn't have that run in. 723, 16th place, not too bad, really. I need to look and see where Youngquist is, because he is the main guy we need to focus on. Just don't be, okay, at least he's not first, he's fifth, so. We could uh, move up a little bit. We're in what heat? Where did it say? I don't even know. But he's starting out fifth. We're in heat number one. He's going to be second in this heat. I'm pretty sure. No, there's five heats. Never mind. He'll be uh, first in heat number five. I thought there was four heats for a second. But top four, make it straight to the A main. I'm hoping we can gain a spot out of this. Maybe get in front of Ross here. But Postier got up in the second. He's fighting for the lead a little bit. Ross goes high. I might be able to throw a slider on him. Not quite. Oh, but we clipped. That was not great. That did not help us out any. We got... Oh, we only got 1% of damage. That wasn't too bad. Thought I was going to be able to slide up on him there. And he had a really good exit off of two. So that may leave us back here in fourth place. But we'll make it to the A main then. Because top four make it. We'll be starting 16th, it looks like. But we need to try to move up a lot through this race. Need to try to get up there with Youngquist. That's going to be the rough part. Because he's starting on the bottom. He's going to be starting fifth. So he's going to be able to get up to like third or fourth pretty quick, I think. Most likely. So we're going to have to make some moves. And hope some cautions come out in our favor in this one. Because a lot of times they do. Sometimes they don't. Hopefully this won't be one where cautions fall a little bit in our favor. Maybe Youngquist can end up in a wreck. That'd be really nice because anything could happen. Starting 16th here. Not very favorable for us, but I enjoy this track. We do pretty decent here. I didn't do as well here last season I was, as I was expecting to. I thought we would do a little bit better here last season, but hopefully this season will be a little bit different. Got Kaiser in front of us. Just try to run this low side. Try not to slide up too hard on anybody. Got three of them in the first lap. That's amazing. Youngquist is, I think, still in fifth, it looks like, up there. He is running the top side. Oh, I was not expecting Rose to just fly on in there on the bottom. Got Postier in front of us. I was hoping he was going to go high. Watch out for the tire. Watch out for his tire as well. Had to really uh, let off and straighten out on the exit. It was terrible, terrible corner. Should be able to get in front of Postier here in a corner or two. I want to slide up on him, but Dylan's running so low and slow. Should be able to slide him there. Yeah, just barely. That was a close one. Let's do the same thing to Dylan there in 11. Okay, we're working our way up. We're working our way up. I see Youngquist up there. He's in still like sixth, I think. So he's not too much further ahead. We got 12 laps left, so we got a little bit of time to work with. Leaders starting to catch lap traffic. I think Mikey's up front. I just need these guys to run high lines. That would be really helpful for us. Slide up here in front of Kyle. We're up to 10th. I'll take that. Now we got Michael in front of us. We definitely are catching Youngquist up there. I just don't know if we're going to have the amount of laps needed to get there. Just really need to hit our marks. I'm hoping uh, there'll be a caution soon. So maybe I can get in front of Youngquist from a wreck. 
Off of a restart up to ninth. Oh, there it goes. And that's Youngquist. Oh, we missed him. I hit him with my right rear. But hey, that was Youngquist in the wreck. That's big. Him and a lap car, I think, got together. Either that or him and Ross got together. I didn't even realize who got together, honestly. I just saw Youngquist uh, spinning out there. I don't know how much damage we have. I don't think really it should be much. Yeah, only 98. We're fine. It's just on the right rear. But Youngquist might be a little slow, but honestly, it might not affect him too much. Come on, Slater, move. I got a championship to battle for. Youngquist got up to fifth there. He does run high. He's going to get a run off the corner. He's taking Chase with him. I'm hoping Youngquist stays up there, though, so I can keep running this bottom. I just need to hit my marks. And this is coming down to the end. All right, let's block his momentum here off of turn four. Okay, we got in front of him. Now let's try to increase the gap. Just need to not slide up into anybody. Ashley is going quite slow right here. We're up to fifth. Let's see if we can get in front of Ashley here, get fourth. Oh, she crossed us over real quick. Not gonna be able to run the bottom. We got one lap left here. Oh geez, she was flying there off of that corner. All right, we're in fifth. We got two spots on Youngquist. Oh, actually he fell to eighth, he fell to eighth, yes. That's three spots, that's six points. We're only two points back, let's go. That was big. He lost a, a spot to Slater there in turn three and four just before uh, this, uh, we got the start finish line. Because wherever we're at the start finish is where it ends at. He might have actually had the run off of turn four and would have beat him to the line, but it's not where he finishes, it's where we finish. So that is helpful. We're only going to be two spots back for him. Two points. This is getting so tight up front. With three races left, we did really well at I-84 last year. Got sixth place, shockingly. And uh, hopefully we can do that or even better again this time. Almost 30k there in the first race of this, of this episode. That's amazing. All right, got to repair pretty much almost everything. The chassis and tires are hanging on for dear life. But we'll repair everything else. Fifth there at Lima Land. That is awesome. Let's go repair the wing, suspension, and the engine. Especially the engine will be needed for this one. Because I-84 is a very big track. Didn't think we'd be doing very well here last uh, season. But we actually got a top. We got six somehow. I think some cautions fell in our favor maybe. But I honestly don't remember 100%. But we're only two points back from Youngquist. I think Youngquist kind of struggles on these bigger tracks where you need an engine. Which we don't have a very good engine. We just get uh, a little lucky and be aggressive. Block off momentum and stuff like that. But I think Youngquist might struggle a little bit here. I really hope so though. But uh, ho we'll go see how this race pans out. Alright. A 965 is the fastest I was able to get out of that uh, practice. Not able to hit the practice goal. And the qualifying goal is even more ridiculous. It's like four tenths faster than the practice goal was. So we're going to qualify terrible. I'm pretty sure we qualified really bad last week, last year too. I think we might have had to go through the B main, but I honestly cannot remember. So I'm hoping that we don't have to go through the B main in this one. We might. It's all right. I think there's only four heats. So top five in a heat will make it. I believe there are only be four heats. It's a low pain race. So it'd be shocking if there's a bunch of people here. Because it's only 18.9 to win instead of like 27 or so, how a lot of these races have been this season. Just got to run right along this bottom edge. Try not to go on the apron where it's flat. Ran a 20.1. Usually our second lap's a little quicker as long as I don't mess it up. Because the first lap I did get pushed up a little bit off the apron. I try to do as little amount of turning as possible on the car I try to just barely tap it to get it to turn and use a little bit of the banking that's there to help turn it that was a 987 not bad almost matched our practice time got 20th so that's like on the edge of making it heat number four starting fifth okay so yeah that's right there is um what is it yeah there's four different heats 25 will be in the starting block of the feature race if we could hold on to this fifth place we'll be in the feature i'm hoping we can gain a spot at least that'd be big try not to hit hudson here in the first corner we barely tap but we didn't really get them ross is up top i'm hoping we can get by ross unless he's gonna start just whipping out some fast laps oh i hit the apron i'm sorry oh they're flipping in front of us that's up to third. <laughs> i got i got into ross a little bit and i think ross got into the wreck 
I got into Ross just slightly. Luckily, it didn't send us, but we got lucky there. I think Mikey might have been the one going tumbling, so he might be really slow. I see some damage on his front wing, but we're in third. If we could finish here in third, that would be miraculous. Like, that'd be crazy. Yeah, Mikey's super slow. He's got a lot of damage. He's going to have to come up through the B main. That's going to be tough for him, though. Just because, uh, like, we're not going to be in B main, so the fast people aren't going to be able to go fast. Oh, my God. He's so far back already. Like, he's just off, way off pace. And Ross is really far back, so some of the slower guys are in front of them. In front of Ross as well. So, Ross is struggling to get up through the field. Hell, we may finish third here. That's amazing. Let's see if we can try to get second from Roast. If we get second from Roast, we'd be in the qualifying dash. Oh, look at the run. We got one lap left. Look at the run we had. Just got to get a straight exit here. We seem a little faster than him towards the end of the straightaway. He ran in the middle, then got a low exit. Oh, no, we slide back up. I don't think we're going to have time to get him by the line. No, we don't. Okay. We finished third, though. That's going to put us in a great spot for the feature. Where does that put us at? 12th? I will take that. I think we started, like, 20th or 19th last season. 18th, maybe. Something like that. So, starting 12th is awesome. I am super happy about that. Where is Youngquist at? I, don't, I didn't see where he qualified, honestly. I should have probably paid attention to that. I don't know where he's at. I need to get down to the bottom here. I did not get all the way down. Don't stick your car in there. Okay, we're good. All right, Youngquist is a little bit in front of us. I see him on the outside with that red car and the white uh, tank in the back. Already up to 11. Got in front of Slater there. Youngquist is stuck on the outside right now. Okay, they're single filed out. We're getting up to 10. He's only like three spots in front of us right now. Yeah, we got very lucky there in that heat race with the guys wrecking. Mikey mainly wrecking because he was fast. Oh, there they go. I think that was Youngquist in that wreck. I, yeah, I think Youngquist was in that wreck. I don't see him in front of us anymore. He got spun around. I don't know if he went flipping or anything. Oh, we're getting lucky right now. We are getting super lucky. He got in a wreck last week at Lima Land. Now he got in a wreck this week at I-84. Ooh-wee. This is looking good for us. I don't know how far back he is. We just need to not end up in a wreck, and I'll be super happy. Might be able to finish, like, top five here, potentially. At the pace we're going. It's an 18-lap race. I think last year I had it at 15, but I kept it at 18 for this time. Should get in front of Roast here. We were slightly quicker than him in the heat race for the most part. Got in front of Post here the slightest bit. I just cut him off. <laughs> but we're up to six. That's amazing. I hit the apron. That didn't help any. Let's see if we can catch up to leave it in Fletcher here. Fletcher is a national driver. The guy out front is Solenberg, I think. I think the 22 is Solenberg. He is absolutely flying. He must have an amazing engine. That's basically all you need for this track. All right, we're pulling on the guys behind us. That's great. Oh, Mikey did make it into the uh, A main. Look at him there. Oh, Youngquist got in front of him in eighth, though. But yeah, Youngquist in a... Uh, Mikey are right back behind us, and Mikey had to go through the B main. Actually, did he? Did he get? Oh, no, yeah, he definitely did, because he was way off pace in the heat race. I'm like, did he get back up to the top five? I don't think he did. Postier is flying up behind us. I just need to try to keep making moves as much as possible. Fletcher, I'm going to cut off your momentum. Oh, Postier and Fletcher got together. They didn't go flipping, though. It was close. Fletcher almost went for a ride. My head freaking itches. Ever since I started uh, recording this episode, like, my head just been so itchy all of a sudden. Don't you hate that? Right when you go to race or something like that, everything starts to itch. It's the worst thing. Absolutely the worst thing. We still got 10 laps to go. Fletcher is absolutely on a rocket ship right now. We're just going to try to cut off his momentum and stay in front of him. He could start running the high side. I don't care. I'm going to stay bottom. I'm hoping we can catch Dylan here in fourth. I'm super happy with the top five, though. We got six tier last season. Hoping we could uh, just improve on that this year with a better car. Not much of a better car, but a little bit better. We have a better chassis, which I think was probably just lighter. I don't know if we had the suspension at this moment. I think we did have the suspension at this point. Or maybe we got the suspension like after this race. I can't quite remember. 
We definitely had tires and wing at this point. We might have had the suspension as well. The chassis definitely came at the beginning of this year. But yeah, we're just blocking the hell out of Cody right now. Mikey is now behind Cody. I think Youngquist might be behind him. I don't know where Postier went. Postier just fell off of a cliff. They are fighting for a position in front of me. Dylan is flying now, getting in front of Leave It. I'm just, I'm probably the most annoying person to uh, Fletcher behind me now. Like, he just has nowhere to go because I'm just blocking the hell out of him. Like, I'm leaving on a small lane up top, but I'm like kind of trying to block the bottom at the same time. He would have to get like a run on the low side or something on an exit. Yeah, we're catching Leave It. This is great. Oh, I got way too sideways there. Not that I, like, I'm super fast or anything, but I just got really sideways there in that corner. Five laps to go. Fletcher's got to hate us, though. This is hilarious. Dylan is gone, though. He, like, hit a nitrous on his car, hit a second gear, something. Because he is just absolutely gone. We're catching Leave It because he's been running the outside, but we do have a lap car up here. Might make leave it run the bottom, which would be unfortunate because I think he'd start pulling away from us again. Like, look, Fletcher just ran the high side. We pulled away from him. And he's been all over our ass the entire time so far. Since he got back by post here. Youngquist got in front of uh, Mikey back there now, which is unfortunate. At this moment, we would be leading the points by two right now. Oh, no, Fletcher. I, he almost got to our outside. I was trying to make an inside move on leave it. And Fletcher about went flying by us on the outside. Two laps left, and this is what I was saying. Leave it started running the bottom because that lap car, they're three wide in front of us. Oh my. They got the two wide. Yeah, leave it started running the bottom. Oh, he's going back up top. Let's go. Come on. Stay up top. Stay up top. Stay up top. Let me get inside. That sounds wrong. Stay up top. Leave it. Don't come down because there's a lap car. The final lap might be able to. Get him stuck up there with the lap car. Oh, he had a run. No. Dang it. He had a run there. Go high for some reason. We're going to hold off Fletcher and we're going to get fifth here. Youngquist is going to get seventh. So we're going to have the points lead by two now. This is such a tight battle. Oh my goodness. This is the tightest points battle I have had in any season yet. By far. The best points battle I've had. So we're going to have back the lead. Who won that? Oh, that was Reyes. I thought it was Solenberg. What what number is Solenberg? I thought he was 22. Oh, he's 66, but it was the blue and uh, red just like that. They're probably teammates. That makes sense. We got the points lead by two. Let's go. Ashley's uh, up, to, up to third now again. I think Dylan was just in. No, Dylan definitely was not just in third because he finished in front of us. Ashley finished second. We only got two points on him. I don't know. That's confusing, but not a very high paying race. Luckily, we got fifth to get almost what our sponsor paid out. And we're going to get exact. Oh, that is the most satisfying thing ever. How did that happen? Thank you. That is so satisfying. $25,000 on the dot. All right. Got to repair the tires and chassis now for these last two races. Got three out of five top tangles. Not too bad. Let's see what kind of sponsor, though, we're going to have for Weed Sport and Williams Grove. What kind of, like, when they, where do they want me to get? Top 15, that's actually doable. Win's not doable. Top 15 is doable, I think, for us in both these races, for sure. Because uh, Weed Sport's very tough. So is Williams Grove. And Williams Grove being a showcase, that's going to be really, really hard. But uh, 27000 to win here at Weed Sport. We were doing decent here last year. I can't re quite remember where we got but I think we did decent, and then Williams Grove, we were having a great run until a late caution, unfortunately. So let's get on to Weed Sport, and hopefully we can hold on to this points lead now. We have it just by a hair. All right, had a really good time in practice compared to our practice goal with it being a top 15. We might actually be able to hit that in qualifying as well, which would be really nice just for the uh, sponsor bonus, just the money-wise. Try to get a run in here. Did not have a good turn in. I turned in way too early, but we still had that top lane. Need to be much lower there for turn one. Decent eggs off of two, though. We'll see what kind of lap this is. Just don't hit the wall. Okay, we're fine. All right, 388, almost exactly what we hit in practice. I'll take that. The bottom seems pretty good for me in both corners as long as I hit it right. 
I just need to not hit the outside wall because it's sketchy off turn four right there. 370 on the second lap. Didn't think it was going to get quicker because we didn't get a run in really for the first lap. But uh, fourth in heat number two. That's not too bad. Where is Youngquist is up in fifth. So we're going to have some some work ahead of us here. He's not in our heat. Okay, hopefully we can get a spot here on Dylan. Try to start a little bit further up if we can. Just got to not slide up on anybody. This track's so tough because like the line I like to run is a slider kind of through both corners in a way. It's really late in the three and four, but one and two, it's like super early. Just got to like send it down to the bottom and slide straight up basically. And that's fast for me. Look how much I caught up to them, but I will wreck doing that, trying to get by them. So got to figure a way to pass. At least we're still in fourth right now. It's not too bad. We're able to avoid them in the first lap. Really pulled away from the guys behind us, which is great. Ross is really struggling, but that's all right. We usually gain some speed. Oh, the wall. Jeez, that inside wall is deadly. Oh, wow, we have a lot of damage. 87 on the radiator, 76 on the arrow. Okay, we just need to keep it safe the rest of this. We got two laps left. The car feels very tight. Doesn't want to turn very much. I have to like let off to get it to rotate. At least let's go and start 14th in our feature race. One more lap. That's the thing. I need to like cut it close like that, but not to where I hit it. That's the hardest part is just getting the fine line down there. I've done it on iRacing too. hit that inside wall. It's so easy to do. But at least we got fourth out of it. I'll take it, I guess. Not too bad. Starting 14th in the A main. Youngquist is going to be starting up in, I believe, fifth still. Nim got the win there, so that's good. So starting 14th, let's see if we can try to catch Youngquist. Okay, back here in 14th. The high side's not amazing for me, but I can drop down at least behind these guys. I need to just be careful in the first corner. Do not send it too hard. Because I'll send it straight into the guy on the outside. Let's just try to methodically work our way through this. Try not to go three wide because we were almost three wide there. And not hit that inside wall again. That was very close. I'm kind of just following Dacus through this right now. I actually used the brakes a little bit there to get it to stay pretty straight through the corner. I thought I was getting his tire. I really did. All right, Dacus, you're going a little too slow for us. Get your Dacus out of the way. Should be able to slide him here in one and two. And we don't hit the wall, so that's perfect. We're already up to 10. Youngquist is up there in like third or fourth though. Yeah, he's in third right now. He's got a gap. He's got guys fighting behind him. Oh, that was as close as I can get to that wall. But that's about the fastest I can get through that corner too. All right, Youngquist is stuck on the outside. Now he's getting past. Good news. He got up in the fourth. They have a weird, they have another weird line here now. Because uh, Weed Sport used to just be like top dominant with these AIs. But now they have a weird, oh, freaking wall again. Okay, we only got 92%. That wasn't too bad. But we didn't hurt the irradiator. It looks like they have a weird line. It's like coming off of turn two, they like almost go out and hit the wall and then get a speed boost. It's like really odd. I'm trying to see if anybody in front of me is doing it. I've seen some guys like really far up there do it. So it's like really weird. But we need to gain some spots. I need a caution, to be honest, to try to bunch everything back up so we can gain some spots. I don't know if Youngquist is in an even or odd number. If he's on an even number, I don't want to... Or even number, caution. Odd number, don't want to caution for him. For me, it doesn't really matter either way, I think. Because I can get down to the uh, bottom lane before turn one anyways. But I want him to be stuck on the outside. But we're catching Kaiser. We're a lot faster than him. And it looks like uh, Josh Jones in eighth we're catching as well at like, the same pace. No, this is going to be the sketchy part. He's trying to pass without... Okay, we didn't get flung up in the air. We got lucky there. Please run high. He really did not. I'm trying not to kill us. And I killed us. <laughs> we somehow don't get a caution. That's okay. We're at 90% arrow now. 
I thought for sure there was going to be a caution. I thought I was going to be stuck on our side, but we got lucky, I guess, landed on our wheels, but kind of not lucky because there was no caution and we're very slow. I'm just getting attacked by Dylan now behind us. Need to see if we can catch Kaiser again. Oh, they're wrecking behind me. Dylan got sent into the wall flipping. Okay. All right. Youngquist is in an odd number. That's kind of disappointing. He's in fifth, but hopefully we can gain some spots out of this at least. That caution was lucky for us. I thought for sure we were going to get uh, a caution though. I thought I was going to be stuck on my side. All right. Can I get inside of Kaiser? Not quite. Let off so we don't kill ourselves. We almost killed ourselves still. Jeez, that was sketchy. I've gotten lucky with a couple bumps that haven't sent us. That definitely should have. Oh. Oh, we got one lap left. Oh, God. When did that happen? And Youngquist is all the way up in third. What the hell? I need to cut off your momentum, Mikey. I'm sorry. And he still beat us to the line. We got ninth. I guess that's fine, but I think Youngquist got third. And that's going to be a huge blow. Yeah, he got third. Dang it, man. That's so rough. Nim got fifth. Tyler Hudson got sixth. Damn. He's like never up here. That's crazy. But he got third. So that's going to put us, what, six, 12 points a difference? We're going to be 10 points down going to this final race. That is a rough one. All right. With a 10 point deficit going into Williams Grove, that's going to be so tough. I don't remember. I think we were doing better than him last season. Yeah, 10 points. Damn, we were doing better than him last season until the last caution came out and then all hell broke loose there. And we lost a bunch of spots. He gained a bunch of spots. We still almost got 30K out of that race. That's kind of crazy, which is really nice because we got the sponsor going both practice and qualifying, which helped out some. So, oh, this is going to be really tough here. We got the top 15 goal there for Weed Sport, which is great. Don't have to repair anything. Everything's still in the green. Got our top 15 there. We have $201,000. I don't want to spend any money is the thing because, oh, what do we go for? I think I'm gonna go for top 10. That's a good sponsor goal here. Uh, I don't know if I want to get the new tires or not. We have enough to upgrade them fully and that would help out a ton for this race, but I don't want to spend the money and I want to save it for the national series and whatever we're gonna go in. But if we don't win the championship here, we're going to have to spend the money anyways or just save up all next season. I don't know. This is very tough. We're 10 points down going into Williams Grove. This is a very, very hard track for me. And in general, that's why I really didn't want this to be a, the last race of the season. And just for this kind of uh, sake, Mikey is actually up to third now. I didn't even realize that. Ashley fell to fifth. Dylan stayed fourth. Mikey jumped up to third with that win. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, this is going to be very, very tough. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think we're just going to bet everything on not not uh buying anything i'm actually gonna repair all the parts just in case that helps out i don't know when i when we were in that like screen when you come back from the race it said harsh driving or harsh yeah harsh driving or something but everything was still green might have been a waste of five thousand dollars but it's only 5k it's not that bad we'll get a lot of money here if we finish top 10 18 laps here at williams grove I'm actually going to actually if I bump that up, it's going to go to 24. I think I'm going to keep it at 18 just to be safe because that uh, 24 is a lot of laps here. and I already struggle. So best of luck to us. Please, please uh, hope that we can win this championship. I want to get to the national series so badly. All right. Got the practice goal by a good bit. The qualifying goal is just like a tenth faster. I ran multiple like 17.2s until I found the uh, line at the top like consistently. So i running the bottom wasn't any quick for me. I was running like a mid two or a low two. The top up here, if you can keep it smooth and not get too sideways, it's very, very fast. So like I ran up here for like three laps and then I got faster and faster and faster. I ran like a nine, then an eight. And that was my final time there in practice. So I'm hoping we could hit something similar here in qualifying. That was a pretty smooth three and four. Get that cut down line on the exit. Missed it by a little bit. Gonna hit the wall. Okay, this second lap's not gonna be faster. At least we got a 920, uh, 927 out of that. I could not get off the wall either. Went in just a little bit too high there. Slid up, caught the right rear, and it just dragged the whole car along it. So that would definitely hurt in a race pretty badly, but we're 14th. That's not too bad. I'll take it. 
I'm hoping I just don't kill everybody here in the heat race or the feature. We're starting third in heat number two. That's really nice. Youngquist is behind us. He's in 15th. That is huge. Because we just need to go forward in the feature race, gain spots, and he might stay around 15. So that's what I'm really, really hoping. Oh, this is so like nerve wracking now. He's so far back. Because if he was starting in front of us, there's not a whole lot I could really do. Oh, I was not expecting to make that gap. I thought I was wrecking in the Mikey. And we're almost three wide there. Mikey, please go low. Please go low. Don't go high. You guys are so slow on entry. Can I cut him off? No, Solenberg. Okay, that was a sketchy three wide. Definitely did not want to be three wide there. Five laps to go in heat. Number two, I think it is. Bump drafting him. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're in heat number two. Somebody uh, told me in my Discord that the heat, you could, you could see which heat you are on the right side. It says how many advance and everything right there. So like, that's actually what pops up in the beginning. And I've never noticed that until like they told me about it. So I appreciate that. Cause I remember I was wondering what heat I was in and stuff before. And uh, he pointed that out, which is very helpful. I thought it was on the left side. That's why I was like scrolling through things on the left, but it was not, it was on the right. But it looks like we'll be starting 14th, which is fine. We're still gonna be one spot in front of Youngquist, which is great. I need to not kill everybody at the start of the feature race. Like we almost killed Mikey here in the heat. I need to get my groove though, running this outside. Cause I gotta enter high, not that high. There's a wall there. I gotta enter high and then just keep the car rotated throughout the entire time. I don't, I really don't have to do too much turning once I get it turned in. See, I went in too low there. It was not high enough. Pulling away from the guys behind us, which is great. Nim's gotten up to fourth. Good for him. Solenberg was the one battling with us for a long time. Looks like Nim's gonna hold off Solenberg. Yeah, they're both running the top side there. Oh, this is for the championship, everybody. I, this is the closest points battle I have had. So we have to beat, we have to beat Youngquist by six positions, basically. So if he's in 15th, we have to get ninth. And if, if we only get five and we tie, I don't know what, what determines the tiebreaker. And he might, he has a win. So that may be the tiebreaker. I'm going to be very sad if that's the tiebreaker and we, and we only get five spots ahead of him. Oh, Fletcher. They're so slow off the start. Youngquist had a great start. We're already getting sit into the wall by Favier. And I'm wrecking him. That was great. That's not a good start though. We're already back to 20th. Jesus Christ. Youngquist is so far up ahead of us now. I think he's that red car in the inside, like four rows up. Just restarts are not my friend. I just gotta go rip the top, I guess. Gotta just do our best up here off the start. Postier actually stayed low for us. Let's try not to run over Ashley's tire. Just get as much ground as we can up here. We're already catching back up to the top 10, but Youngquist is up here in 10. There's Youngquist. Don't hit us, you bastard. And Ashley. Sorry, sent her a little bit. And there's a caution. All right, we're one spot behind Youngquist now. I, I'm shocked we made it back up that quickly, but we're on the inside, which is not favorable for me. I need to try to actually move outside on this restart so I can go and rip the outside. I'm not going to be able to get out there. I'm going to have to like let off a ton to not slide up. We still slid up, but luckily that person on the outside, I think that's Michael, uh, in the 83. Try to hook the inside if we can there. I need to slide up here. Sorry. <laughs> I need to be up top. I'm going for a championship here. I just got to beat Youngquist by six spots, which is so difficult. He's in 12th right now. Oh, Michael, why'd you go low? And we're getting sent into the wall from wheel hopping everything. Jesus. This is not great. Gotta be on my game to get this done. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. 
because we're really really fast up here I just keep getting into other people is the problem that was a really good exit off turn to Mikey Mikey no Michael Mikey and Michael I sent Youngquist by accident that actually was by accident I swear <laughs> I really did not mean to get into him I went to go slide in front of Mikey and I just clipped his rear I don't know if anybody ran into him or not, but that was my bad, 100%. I really did not mean to wreck him, but we got to do what we got to do at this point to get to the National Series. I really just want to get there. How damaged is our car? 74? Okay. At least we don't have any radiator or engine damage, which is kind of shocking. I thought I was getting clipped into the wall there. I definitely hit it. We actually lost a spot there off the start. And everybody's going outside. Just slide up in front of Chase there. There are three wide in front of us. I probably should have stay, stuck outside. I was really on the brakes going into turn one there. That was sketchy. Travis, don't you do it. Don't, I hate you. I knew you were going to. Let me get in front of you. I'm shocked it didn't send us. Oh, wow. Everybody went low. Okay, I'll take that. I have no clue where Young Quiz is, which is terrifying. Somehow didn't get sent there, but I sent myself into the wall. We're at 72% damage. That's so bad. We have so much damage on the car. But we got to just keep moving forward. I don't know how we're flying so much. But we're just really gripping this outside. Luckily, everybody keeps going low. We're getting very lucky with that. Kyle. Okay, we got lucky. We didn't go around. Oh, he's wrecking. That's a caution. We're in six, though. Yep, we're in six. He's not in the top ten. Oh, gosh. So... We're at least five spots ahead at the moment, which we would be tied. Oh, I'm so nervous. I am so freaking nervous. This actually somewhat happened in, I think, the street stocks or, like, the big block, something like that. And it came to Knoxville, and we, like, blew them out the water, actually, by getting so many spots ahead of them. So, we're kind of clutching some sorts of a way. Like, it's happened once before. It hasn't been this close before, though, back and forth all season, which is terrifying. Damn, Mikey's all the way up here in fourth. We're somehow in fifth. Oh, Mikey, why did you run high? Sabotage, I swear. This is sabotage. I really hope Youngquist was stuck on the outside. Mikey, I'd really appreciate it if I can get in front of you. I'm sliding him here. Oh, we got one lap to go. Oh, my goodness. It all comes down to this. We're in fourth. I'll take it. Get a good three and four. We need fourth place here at least. All right, let's go. We did everything we could. Did everything we could. We got fourth place. Oh, where is Youngquist? Where is he? He's not in the top. He's not in the top 10. Where'd he fall to? He fell to 18th. We got it. Let's go. Oh, that was, that was terrifying. I really thought we were screwed right off the bat when we got like moved out of the way and stuff. We fell all the way back to 18th. That was the hardest points battle. And then look, we won by like nearly 20. So it doesn't look like it was close, but that was such a tight points battle all season. Won by 18 there because Youngquist just is bad at these bigger tracks. So we got very lucky there. It probably didn't help that I sent him once and spun him around. But I don't know if he really got much damage out of that it, to make him slower. He kind of was running around Michael and... Uh, not really Nim. Nim was a little bit further back, but Dylan was by us for a while. I was around Kaiser for a while. Postier was up there. So yeah, he just fell back a little bit and kind of got stuck back there. Maybe that last restart, he was on the outside. I don't know. 37.8 thousand for fourth place. Let's go. How much did we get there? $52,000 in the final race of the season. That's amazing. Not buy anything really paid off for me there. I am super happy we didn't do get those tires. Things got pretty worn out there, but we're not going to have to worry about that for a while. We're not going to be running these 360s for quite some time now. And we got the sponsor contract. We won the championship. I am so excited about that. Let's go get a lot of money here. Uh, I'm going to get the 19K because, oh, we got another uh, achievement. Let's go. 360 champion. So happy about that. But I'm going to pick K1 because we're not going to get any more race payouts. So Fnatic is not going to matter for like the race payout. I'm just going for the initial payout. Get that 19,000. And uh, wait, did we not get 19,000 because we've had them as a sponsor before? That's some BS. I thought it would still uh, count that's unfortunate so we didn't get any money i could see like above the uh dirt car logo 
uh dirt car racing logo up there we're set 249 basically 250,000 I thought the 19,000 would be added but I guess since we've had k1 before that doesn't count for like getting them again and getting the initial um payout so I guess initial payout makes sense in a way it's only one time it's your initial payout so oh well but we had a pretty good season we had a little bit of a down see uh down in the middle with race seven and eight getting 15th and 13th and i think that was on decent tracks for me and i just really screwed up at them but overall we were uh top 10 a lot of it top five a decent amount too two three four to start the season to end the season we got five five nine and four so that last showcase race was huge for us absolutely massive so very happy about that we're able to finally move on to the national series we got every regional championship as you can see here in the top left and just like i'm scrolling through all of them you can see we've got every single one of them that is amazing on to the national series which it's been a long road coming and these cards cost four hundred thousand to get so we have a long way to get to before we get to them because we're going to try to win all the championships leading up to the last two so i think we're going to start out right where we started out in the beginning of the season we're going to go with the street stocks holy crap they have 38 races in a regular season that is nuts um i think we're gonna run like a third regulation that yeah 44 all tracks oh my goodness you can do every single track in the game that is absolutely crazy that's so funny uh, i think we're gonna just do a 13 that's a pretty good average for what uh we've been doing for the most part volusia norris county that's a new one for us uh bristol I don't think we've ran Bristol yet, have we? Bristol, Volusia. I love Volusia. Weed Sport, that's going to be tough. Willow Creek, I think we've ran there once. Lima Land, love that place. I-84, it's good. Okay. It's interesting. Cedar Lake, I don't think I've ran at yet in these cars. Lucas Oil will be interesting in these cars just because it's so tough there with those tires. Straight River, don't know that track. I-55, Knoxville, and Charlotte to end it off, which we haven't ran too much at Charlotte. So that seems like a pretty good schedule to me. I'm super excited about that. We have 200. Oh, yeah, we did get that money added. Okay, it is up there. 269,000. It did get added. Okay, good. We got level four parts of everything here. So we could actually start upgrading things. I'm going to probably do the tires before we start off this season and uh, just work our way through everything. We're going to get a lot of money, I think. 30,000 to start off. I just want to see how much some of the. Oh, Norris County. That's an interesting track. I've never seen it yet. So that, that's a weird looking uh, outlet, like layout. But 22,000, 30,000, 40,000 for the showcase at Weed Sport. 27,5. That looks like a, a Williams Grove in a way. Looks like Martinsville, Williams Grove, kind of. Yeah. 25,000. I 84 is 25, 27.5. We're only going to have two showcases also, it looks like, again. Okay, that's weird. 27,000. 25 for Straight River. That looks like a pretty... Actually, it says third mile, but it looks like a very big track. 25, 28, and the final race of the year is 45. So not a whole lot uh, different than what the 360s just were. Honestly, I thought it might be more. But uh, we're going to... Next episode, we're into the National Series, finally. I'm super excited about that, and we could start out trying to get these championships. So... Hopefully you guys are enjoying the career mode. It's not anywhere close to finish, really, because uh, we got, what, I think seven championships left to go still in the National Series. And we might have to do a couple seasons in a couple cars, especially once we get in, over into the uh, Super Late models and the 410. So I'm super excited about the uh national series already being here not already but finally being here it's been a long road coming so appreciate you guys for watching as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one